PeteTool.com. G'day, 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 guys. Pete from Pete's Tools. Awesome to see you here again today. Hey, I've reviewed lots and lots of plasma cutters over the years. This is only a small percentage of them. If I had to stack them all here, it would be a huge bloody pile. And I'm always on the lookout for a really, really good plasma cutter, a top-notch machine for under 300 bucks with all the latest bells and whistles. And you might think to yourself, well, that's bloody near impossible, Pete. Just call me Santa Claus. But I think I might have found one, guys. Takes a lot to get Pete excited, but keep watching and I'll show you what I've found. Anyway, guys, same as usual. You like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below. Now let's get into it. Yeehaw! Now, guys, I'm always on the lookout for a decent machine. I don't like spending a lot of money if I don't have to. I mean, you can spend thousands and thousands on plasma cutters and... You know, long story short, they may cut a little bit better than a cheaper one, but for the amount of time that most people are using it in their home workshop, the expense is not warranted. But you need a plasma cutter machine that has all the bells and whistles and it doesn't cost you a bloody fortune. I've reviewed heaps of these over the years. As you can see, like I said before, this is only a small proportion of them. Um, I've given them away. I've done all sorts of things with them. You know, I, I get them, I do a review, and then I'll just give them to my mates or I'll just give them away or, or whatever, you know? I'm always on the lookout for that perfect machine. Now, I don't know if this machine is perfect, but out of all the ones I've reviewed so far, this comes pretty damn close. Now, out of all those machines, guys, this, the latest one I've reviewed, I'm really, really impressed with today. It's a Best Dark 7th Generation BTC 500 DP machine. Now that sounds like a bloody mouth. What it means is, it's just ultra cool. <laughs> I just can't help it. I'm so excited. It's really, really cool, eh? Um, best thing I've ever reviewed, actually. Not to say that there won't be something else coming up that's better than this, but I've reviewed a lot of machines, like I said, and they just seem to be getting better and better and better, or maybe I'm just getting better at choosing the machines to review. I don't know. Anyway, let's turn this bugger on and see what happens. As you can see guys, we've got the nice looking LED, full LED screen. It's all touch panel down here. But it not only looks good, I've been playing with this for about three or four weeks now and she cuts like there's no tomorrow. It's absolutely unbelievable. So we've got the Hyundai machine here and this is also a really awesome machine guys. But what we'll do is we'll compare the two. This is really another one of my favorite machines before this one come on the scene. Anyway guys, we'll turn this one off and then I'll plug this one in and I'll just show you the difference. All right guys, we'll turn him on. Here we go, you see that on this one the fan starts straight away, whereas this one, the fan is on demand. Once the machine heats up, then the fan will start on this one. So we've got the fan running straight away on this. We've got your amp gauge here, 0 to 50 amps, which is just your dial here, and then it gives you the LED readout here. And we've got your post time here, which you can't actually see, we don't have an LED readout for. And we have the manual air pressure gauge here. Now these two machines are both exactly the same amperage, cutting power, but they cut totally different. Now let me turn this one back on and I'll show you this little beast. Now we'll turn him on. Here we go, starting up. You notice that we haven't got a fan starting, there's no fan once we started it, not like this one. Um, we've got our pressure gauge here, which is LED, which when we start the compressor, actually I'll start the compressor guys and you watch this go up. Here we go guys, you can see it rising now. Now the advantage of this machine is, this will tell you when you've got the right amount or not the right amount of air pressure, which is pretty awesome when we're first learning the plasma cut. As you can see guys, the pressure has climbed up to 99 psi. The machine is telling us that we're way too many psi for 50 amp. See, we've got the two red bars here. What we should have is be in the green bars down here. So what we need to do is knock that back. And this is a really lot easier to read than something like this, especially from a distance, and especially when you're old like me and you can't see properly. <laughs> so if we back this back, guys. Here we go. So we want to back it back until, see that red light, one of them went out. So we'll go right back down, and then it'll work out for the amps we've got set, what air pressure we should be at. So 60, see that there guys? We've got it to 59, 60 PSI, and we've got the three green bars here. So that means we're in the right air pressure range for our 50 amp. What we've also got on this machine, on the seventh generation machine, is we have cut here, 
and then we flick this up it just takes it straight to the ear so we can set our air pressure or do whatever we want with that make sure our air is flying properly and then when we're all set we can go back to cut and that's just also ideal if you want to blow off your workshop table or you want to do something like that and these machines are about exactly the same price well not exactly i just can't remember exactly how much this one was this is about 260 i think this is about 269. with the hyundai we haven't got the 2t and the 4t setting 2t there which means when you're cutting and you pull the trigger on 2t you cut and then when you let it go it stops cutting if i put it down to 4t you start cutting you pull the trigger you can let go of the trigger it keeps cutting 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 until you pull the trigger again and then it stops cutting which is ideal if you're um on different angles and that sort of thing it just keeps your torch going which is an awesome add-on i reckon last but not least guys we've got pt which is the post time here which is the same as what we've got here here we've got an analog gauge whereas here we've got it digitally you can see that seven seconds 12 seconds we can turn it up and turn it down which is good because you can extend your consumable life by putting more post time on but once again that takes more air pressure and it takes a bigger compressor to run it for a longer post time if you know what i mean and my best function that i like on this machine out of the whole lot is this pa which is pilot arc which you can alter how long the pilot arc runs for so normally you get about a three second pilot arc which is when you pull the trigger and the flame starts but you can alter this right up to 15 seconds which is ideal for cutting corrugated steel and that sort of thing and if you're cutting a really really dirty stuff before you hit the steel underneath put the pilot arc function up to 14 or 15 seconds and you can cut through the crap first and then you can actually get to the steel without your torch shutting down which is awesome eh? <laughs> so guys this machine is awesome as well don't get me wrong all i'm doing is just showing you the improvements you can get for basically the same money now if you want to see a review on the uh, hyundai machine check up here i'll put a review up there it's an in-depth review of what it can cut and everything else and if you want to see a review on the seventh generation best arc machine check up this side i've run this thing through a lot of tests i've cut a lot of stuff that i shouldn't be cutting with it and you can see exactly how good a thing cuts anyway guys as usual it's up to you to decide what you want to buy if you want to buy one at all or you want to stick with your angle grinder it's totally your choice same as usual guys if you like my video subscribe drop me a like drop me a comment come say good day in the comments below and remember to check out my new youtube channel if you want to see where pete lives i've done a few little day trips around christchurch in the south island so check that in the description below as well and we'll see you next time eh? bye Pete's tools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com